Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with my Swedish series. I have a, a whole playlist regarding Sweden, uh, our road trip to Sweden, my favorite uh, comedy TV shows and movies, uh, some Swedish recipes that I've made, for example, Swedish crisp bread, meatballs, so, you should check out that playlist, I will link it up here and also down below. And today I'm going to give you my favorite, most of them classic Swedish books that you should read. And there is no reason not to read them, even if you don't speak or can read English. Most of these books you will find in English as well, as most of them are classic books. This is my subjective uh, favorite list, as was with my uh, favorite uh, comedy TV shows and uh, comedy movies. So um, you might, if you're Swedish, you might like different books. But uh, these made an impact on me and I still remember them. And I would definitely recommend everyone to read them to, to get a picture of what Sweden was like, of, um, of the Swedish vibe, of the atmosphere, of some history, and so on. First of all, we have The Emigrants, Utvandrana by Wilhelm Moberg. It's a classic Swedish novel that describes uh, Karl Oskar and Kristina, our two main characters, who are leaving Sweden behind because of the famine. We had famine in Sweden at some point. There was a lot of poverty and famine in 1840-1850s in Sweden. So um, those of you who live in the US and have some Swedish roots, uh, Swedish surnames, uh, most probably you come from these Swedish emigrants. So we have uh, our main characters who leave uh, Småland, which is in the south of Sweden, and uh, travel by ferry to US to find a better life. It's a very good book, very grim at some point, very real, very realistic, and I really recommend it. And it's uh, the first part of a whole series called The Emigrants. The next one is The Immigrants, um, Invandrana, and then we have uh, Nybyggarna, uh, uh, the new land in English and uh, fourth book as well so um, it's very interesting and I totally recommend it the second book or actually two books I want to recommend are by one and the same author and writer and that is Selma Lagerlöf she's a very well-known writer she's also the first uh, woman who received the Nobel Prize uh, for literature and uh, she wrote many wonderful books and I read many of them. I could recommend all of them, but I want to recommend two. Uh, one, the first one is more aimed at children, but uh, adults will have a lot of enjoyment as well, uh, especially if you want to learn more about Swedish geography, regions, traditions, topography, uh, animals, and so on. It's uh, called uh, Nils Holgersson's Underbara Resa, in English, one Nils' Wonderful Adventures. And it's about a lad, a boy, who is full of mischief and um, is ill-tempered and mean uh, towards the animals on his farm. And one day he captures a tomte, a small dwarf or magical creature. And in short, he shrinks him, so he becomes the lad, the boy, Nils. He becomes very small as well. And the animals uh, want to have vengeance on him and attack him, and, and he's rescued by a wild goose and the wild geese take him on an adventure flying him all over Sweden towards the north um, of Sweden and he learns how to become good and he learns about Sweden uh, it's a very nice feel-good book that I read when I was little and I still remember it the second book is also by the same author, Selma Lagerlöf, and it's uh, called The Chasan of Portugalian, The Emperor of Portugalia. Uh, it takes place in the second half of the 18th century as uh, The Wonderful Adventures of Nils uh, Holgersson. And um, it takes place in Värmland, which is a region of Sweden, and it's about a father who loves uh, his daughter uh, very much. 
uh, they are poor and he uh, adores her and uh, one day when she is an adult and she leaves uh, the small uh, village to work in Stockholm he never hears from her again and he steps into a dream reality in which he is an emperor of Portugalia and he can uh, behave in a way he wants and, uh, and his daughter is an empress he imagines her to be an empress uh, somewhere in Portugalia so he imagines he, she's an empress and that uh, they both will reign when she returns and his whole life is consumed by uh, acting like an emperor and imagining what will happen when she's back it's uh, sad and um, funny at the same time but mostly sad dramatic book there's also a film adaptation of it I remember watching the film adaptation and it made a lasting impression on me I still remember some scenes from it and I read the book as well it's uh, very touching and moving and I truly recommend it what would be these Swedish recommendations without Astrid Lindgren she is the most famous Swedish writer she never received a Nobel Prize even though many petitioned for her to get that she is probably the most loved uh, and beloved Swedish writer Astrid Lindgren we on our Swedish road trip uh, we mm, even went to Vimmerby uh, where, where she lived and saw her house uh, and there's a museum but it was closed at that time and uh, she wrote so many uh, wonderful amazing books that uh, you can just choose whatever you want they're all aimed at children children's books but uh, I read reread some of them now when I was an adult and I enjoyed them as much they are simply amazing and they are translated to almost all languages in the whole world so if you haven't heard about them already you totally should they are the most uh, touching funny adventurous uh, <laughs> books <laughs> and many of them are very feel-good they are the perfect books for these times I think I want to recommend especially two of uh, her books and that would be the first one would be The Brothers Lionheart, Brodena Leonjata in Swedish, which is a fantasy novel, a very melancholy tone, which uh, speaks of sacrifice, loyalty, love, uh, grief, loss. I think the less I tell you about this book, the better, but The Brothers Lionheart is a very, very fitting book for this time. It's about courage, loyalty, love. You should read it even if you're adult even if you're 30 40 60 years old find it online you will find all of these books in English you can buy it you can probably borrow it and you will not regret it and the second one is Emil from Lönnebarja Emil i Lönnebarja in Swedish and there are a few of them I think five or six books it depends on how the publisher have divided the stories but there are a few of those uh, or you could find all of the stories in one book and it's about a prankster in Småland in the south of Sweden and he's also full of mischief and it's about all his mischiefs on the farm it's funny it's so funny I was uh, laughing out loud so if you want something that will lighten your mood it's definitely uh, worth picking up children love it adults love it I was reading it for my husband <laughs> out loud and we were both laughing and sometimes crying we had a great time reading it so uh, if you haven't you should pick this book up and all of these books that I've mentioned so far The Emigrants by Wilhelm Muber and the two books by Selma Lagerlöf The Wonderful Adventures of Nils and uh, The Emperor of Portugalia and uh, most of Astrid Lindgren's books so these two as well Emil of Lönnebarja and uh, The Brothers Lionheart they're all uh, adapted into the screen mostly they are quite old movies from the 70s, 1970s, 1980s uh, but you can find the movies I'm not sure if they are they have English translations but some of them probably have so you could also check them out that way
The last book that I want to recommend is a book by the writer Per Anders Fogelström, Mina Drömmarstad, The City of My Dreams. It's the first book in a series about Stockholm. It also takes place uh, in the um, second half of the 18th century. I think it's the first of uh, five books in that uh, series. It's um, very interesting. It describes the working class between 1860 and 1880 in Stockholm and uh, how Stockholm was developing and um, starting to how it was in Stockholm, the life, relationships uh, and so on. It's very very interesting and I definitely recommend it if you want to get a glimpse of Stockholm, of life in Sweden as it was and actually all of these books uh, you can call classic books, classic novels, must reads. I think I will make a separate video maybe one day about some about books that take place more in modern Sweden but these, all of these books uh, will give you a good picture of life a couple of hundred years ago in Sweden. Uh, for some reason <laughs> almost all of these books take place in the 18th century but it was a, an exciting time for Sweden and a uh, lot was happening with the industrialism and so on and uh, there are there are some um, a very good book but they don't take place in Sweden for example about the Middle Ages one that uh, needs a particular mention is uh, a novel by a Norwegian author, uh, Sigrid Unsen, Kristin Lavran's daughter. It's a trilogy uh, called uh, the, the Wreath, the Wife and the Cross, but the whole trilogy is called Kristin Lavran's daughter. It's a special uh, mention for a Norwegian author. <laughs> You should check it out because the Middle Ages were uh, similar in Norway and Sweden. But if you are interested in the Nordics in Sweden, these will give you a very good picture of how life was uh, and will transport you to a different country, different traditions uh, and you will enjoy all of them. I promise you that. Thank you very much for watching. Go read about those books. Go to the online library or online store, buy one of these and you will not regret it. <laughs> I will see you in my next video. Bye. Have a wonderful day.